attack anybody. They sent people to us come and attack us, come and agitate our, our protest. And we are not going to move anywhere. We are going to be here for as long as they listen to us. Because now it's no more a fight for answers. It's now beyond that. It's beyond that because at the end of the day, we are fighting for ourselves. We are fighting for our children. We are fighting. I'm fighting for my own future. I'm just 20 years old. I want it less than 10 years from now. I'm going to be proud of Nigeria. I'm literally not proud of Nigeria. My parents are not proud of Nigeria. Every All of our parents are out there saying that, oh, it's okay. Let's be patient. Let's be patient. Patient cannot work again. We are so awoke and the whole international worldwide are listening to us right now and they are watching us and they know that from this point now I am a makeup artist I'm going to be doing my makeup when it's time to do makeup if I have a job I'll go and do it and I'll be back here I'm going to sleep here until the government listen to what we want to say they have to reform everything everything has to be going right in Nigeria this is the beginning of change honestly I'm I'm standing here just because I know that this is going to help my life this is going to help my children it's going to make life easy for me because I am a nobody. I want to be a somebody without having the connection with our government. And again, our policemen, they need to take care of our policemen. They need to make sure that they are paying them really nice salaries so that they will not be disturbing us. Because you are giving guns to hungry men. Why wouldn't they use the guns to use it to get what they want? Ex-convicts, ex-convicts are out of the police station. Instead of them, if you have them to take them to, to do community service, give them brooms, give them up, let them sweep Lagos State, let them clean the country. That's what they do with ex-convicts. You don't fucking give ex-convicts guns to be on the street to protect people. You say their job is for um, robbery and whatever it is. Honestly, they are not doing that. They are the robbers themselves. They are the ones that steal from us. And they, and they, they are killing us. And we, it's okay, please. 30 year old men are still complaining of this when they were two, when they were 15 20 they are complaining now they are 30 years old and nothing has changed and nothing is going to change if we are not going to make a voice we are all one and we don't have a leader we are one and we are here to stand for each other we are standing for ourselves i'm not here with a friend because a friend brought me here i'm here because i know it's going to be good for my future and my children uh, i have actually had an encounter with sas and policemen because i as i said i'm a makeup artist i'm a freelance makeup artist i can leave set for 12 1 2 anytime as far as there's no curfew i usually meet this you know these people on the street and then when i see them i don't actually talk to them do you know why i tell them i just look at them with a look and i'll look at the uber guy and i'm like why is this man talking to me i'm not the owner of the car you are the owner of the car i have no problem with the policeman please can you talk to the owner of the car that's what i usually tell them i've not had you know a serious whereby i was rude and they beat me up no but i usually make sure that on my own end i make sure that they don't talk to me as a lady they have to talk to the uber driver that's if i'm in an uber but trust me, they've done a lot of things to my family members. They've done a lot of things to friends that I don't like. And I feel like it's so injustice because most of them are not even Yaobos. We are not fighting for fraudsters. We are fighting for the good people that are doing online businesses, that have online shops, that do businesses online and are making money and are dressing good and are buying things for themselves. We are no more waiting for the government to give us jobs. You see somebody spend six years in school with learning doctor and then you come out and start selling farm drugs in pharmacy. What the fuck is happening? They're not giving us job you're not making us comfortable in ordinary algeria where my brother is when they are done with second when they're done with university there's a job and there's money for you to start that's what the government gives them the government gives them a proper job and it gives them money to start up their life because they're already like in an adulthood now but here in nigeria you see a 30 year old 35 year old man he has a certificate he has everything but he's doing something else to try and feed himself and his family it's not okay it's not okay. And he has to start from the government. A governor is earning close to a billion naira for what? And the policemen that are taking care of him are earning less than 100,000 naira. What's going on? All this is just wrong. And honestly, it's common sense. That's why I say common sense is not really common anymore. It's not common. But we have to make them that common sense is very, very common. And we, the youth, are the ones that are going to start this revolution. And everything has to change. That's start from us. Well, people were gathering here this morning. And by the time most of the people got here, we found out that there are some higher talks. They were already here. They came in buses. Some came with different kind of 